This video is sponsored by Rage Shadow Legends. Rage Shadow Legends is a turn-based mobile RPG that is changing the world of mobile gaming. This game has gotten nearly 15 million downloads in the past 6 months alone. In this dark fantasy game, you can play through a fully voiced story campaign, raid with friends in a clan, and explore over a million champion builds. And of course, it's all free. This game has extra features too, like multi-battle auto mode, where you can set battles to run automatically while you do something else in the background, and weekly tournaments and events where you can win prizes. This game is growing very quick, so they published this roadmap to help you get started. If you're quick enough, you can add me with my username, Scare Theater, and join my clan. Download Rage Shadow Legends today with my link in the description, and you'll receive 50,000 silver and a free champion as part of the new player program to start your journey. Good luck. For over a decade now, there has been a video circulating the internet that may be disturbing to some. It is an allegedly authentic 911 call an elderly woman made in her final moments of life. She complains to the operator that a suspicious man has been wandering around the apartment. About midway through the call, she says she doesn't know where the man is, and then, well, just listen for yourself. Uh, this is the uh, Ruth Price of 3877. What's the problem, ma'am? Oh, there's some guy been, um, checking the place out. How? Well, he went in the back. I have an apartment in the back, and he said he was looking for a guy. And he comes to my door, and... Yes? And, uh, said he's, uh, looking for an apartment. So I'm a, I live alone, and I'm an old lady. This is a very tragic thing. But the call itself isn't what we're going to be focusing on. Since the release of this, there's been a lot of confusion as to the background of this call. No one has been able to identify who Ruth Price is, nor are they able to find any record of this incident ever occurring, aside from this audio recording. It's to the point where it's become questionable whether this is even a real 911 call. As attention to this call began to rise, a Spanish website reported on this. At the top of the page, they included a picture of this woman, seeming to indicate this is Ruth Price. Doing a reverse image search on this does lead you to an obituary for a woman named Ruth Price. However, this is not the Ruth Price from this 911 call. The Ruth Price in this image died in 2015, and there are archives with the 911 call that date back way further than that. That lead may have been a dead end, but as the discussion moved over to Reddit, a clever user was able to use a people lookup website to find a record of a woman named Ruth Price who died in 1994. The house number on her most recent address was 3877. This is the exact residence number that the Mrs. Price in the 911 call gave the operator before being cut off. Uh, this is uh, Ruth Price of 3877. What's the problem, ma'am? The timeline would also be a good approximation as to when this phone call was made. I did more digging into this person, but unfortunately, I was not able to find any useful information about her using any lookup databases. So while not 100% verified, this is the closest to an identity that we have, given this is even real. As I mentioned earlier, to this day, people still debate over whether this phone call was a hoax or not. The side put forward by the skeptics is reasonable. There's literally no news coverage of this online. It's odd that the call has gotten so much attention, yet there are no records of what actually happened that night. I've thoroughly searched newspaper archives to find anything referencing this, but I found nothing. Proponents of this being real refute this by saying this event happened before the internet was big, so any coverage of this likely wasn't immortalized by the internet yet. There's also the fact that on the call, when the attack starts, you'd expect the woman to drop the phone, causing her screams to sound much further away. In the recording, however, her screams don't appear to get any further away. <laughs> And 
And finally, some people have brought up the fact that this must be a hoax, because it's illegal to publicly release 911 calls in which someone died. This point isn't actually true. According to the Freedom Forum Institute, in most states, 911 calls are public record without restriction. The evidence for this being real is a little more convincing. Going back to Reddit, on a thread that was discussing this, a user left a comment that shed some light on this call. They claimed to have been a public safety officer in the 90s, and said this recording was played for them during training as an example of what not to do. This would explain the dispatch officer in the recording unprofessionally cutting off Ruth before getting her full address. Uh, this is uh, Ruth Price of 3877. What's the problem, ma'am? They continue saying this was presented to them in class as 100% real, and the man who murdered Ruth was never apprehended. This is further corroborated by a user on a police forum. Back in 2002, someone posted this audio to the forum, and a user named HNDLC3 commented saying that he remembered listening to this call as a part of his dispatcher class. The earliest archive I was able to find of this audio file was from June of 2001 on a website called The Marksman. This webpage details what happened to Ruth Price and includes three different files of this recording. The page makes it clear this audio recording is very real. Now to be fair, it's pretty clear this website is obviously a pro-gun site as they have a section talking about how things would have been different if Ruth had a gun. So. This person would have a motive to push this as real, even if it weren't. I don't think this is the case though. This website does list other brutal pictures of murders that have been confirmed as real, so that establishes some degree of reliability. But most importantly, on the page depicting the Ruth 911 call, they actually list a source for it at the bottom. It says, this audio was provided by 911emergency.com. This website is no longer up, but it was a website filled with 911 resources. This included 911 training, as well as an archive of real 911 calls. Because this website has been defunct for so long, it's hard to find much more information about it, but this definitely points in the direction of this call being real. I emailed a couple of the contact emails listed on there, and I'm hoping to receive a response. I can leave you with this last piece of information though. A user on Reddit left a useful comment saying there was a 4chan thread a while back that spent months investigating this call. They concluded that the call was real, along with all the information in the call, but the audio was only a reenactment of the exact transcript used for training. Apparently, this information was gathered by speaking to several 911 training companies and being told the same thing from all of them. Of course, there's no archive of that thread, so we don't know how accurate that information is. I have, however, taken to emailing multiple 911 training centers for any information regarding this. I've only heard back from a few so far, and they've all told me they've never heard of this call before. This doesn't necessarily mean that it wasn't real, it just means that these particular centers never used this call. If I get any useful information from other training centers, I'll definitely make an update video. Overall, given what we know now, I would say I'm definitely leaning toward this being real. The evidence pointing to this being authentic is enough to satisfy my skepticism for now. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the flip side.